Supercoin crew here looking at the Mewtwo Amiibo from the Super Smash Brothers series line of Amiibo. I'm Nikki. And I'm Cade. And we are just so happy to have this. It's definitely one of my favorite Amiibo because of just his pose. That menacing Mewtwo. Also, one of the few characters to not clap after a match in Super Smash Bros. Yeah, that's right. Jigglypuff doesn't actually clap either. Because she doesn't have hands. <laughs> I think she has hands. Another interesting thing about Mewtwo is that before Roy was announced, Mewtwo was the first character to not make an appearance in Brawl and then brought back. So him and Roy are, you know, finally back. So he's like a returning character, which is pretty cool. And his moveset is very, very similar to what it was in Melee. He even has one of his original taunts from Melee. The, the spin. Yeah. The Mewtwo Amiibo came out November 13th, 2015. If you weren't sure about picking up Mewtwo, you're definitely going to want him if you have Charizard, Pikachu, and Greninja, and Jigglypuff. They look so good together. Yeah, the Amiibo looks great. I mean, they really got the color spot on, the shade looks great the eyes look awesome they really really did a great job with his uh, pose and it's funny because his feet are kind of hanging off the edge because he's just such a big guy in my opinion all amiibo look great alongside other Nintendo products so for example I have some Pokemon stuff and I could just have the Mewtwo sit right next to like a couple Pikachu figures that I have or even like an Ash Ketchum one I remember watching that Smash Direct and when they announced Mewtwo for both the 3DS and the Wii U I, I had to pick him up you know also if you did buy both copies of the game initially Mewtwo was free. Yep, he was free, which was really cool. And, you know, it totally opened the floodgates for people to start speculating on what characters were going to be announced as DLC characters, because he was the first one. And now here we are months later with characters like Ryu. And can you imagine if they made a Pokemon amiibo for every single Pokemon? That would just be cuckoo nutty. <laughs> I mean, it's almost, it's over 700 at that point. Maybe for the 20th anniversary, we'll get more Pokemon Amiibo. Well, that's funny that you mentioned that because they announced a ton of stuff for Pokemon 20th anniversary. I also believe that this is another opportunity to include Mew in the original Pokemon Red and Blue games. What if, now hear me out here, what if for the 3DS, they just made a Mew Amiibo and that's how you put him in your original game? That would be awesome. I don't think that's going to happen though because here's the lineup of distribution of mythical Pokemon. You got Mew in February, Celebi in March, Jirachi in April. Sriracha in April? <laughs> Darkrai in May, literally every single month in 2016 except for January, you're getting a mythical Pokemon. In addition to putting your amiibo in Smash, you can also use the Mewtwo amiibo for a costume in Super Mario Maker. I definitely think Mewtwo is one of my favorite amiibo in the line. He just looks so great. They really captured his likeness, his pose, definitely worth having in your amiibo collection. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more amiibo coverage from Super Coin Crew. And let us know in the comments if you've already got the Mewtwo Amiibo and what other Amiibo you're going to pick up in the future. Keep it here to Super Coin Crew for non-stop Nintendo. Join the coin. Subscribe.